Hi Cancer, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. And I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. Thank you so much for viewing my video. And thank you for supporting other tarot readers as well. It means so much to us that you are um, uh, watching our readings, that you are, you know, watching our readings. And it would really mean so much to us if you liked, shared, and subscribed to our channels because it means that our readings are resonating to other people. Please do. So please do. All right. Cancer, your overall energy for this reading is the Emperor. You have the Four of Wands. You could be dealing with an Aries. You have the Ace of Wands. And then you have the Nine of Swords. Okay. You have the Six of Cups. You have the Knight of Pentacles. And then you have the King of Wands. All right. Okay. Underneath your deck. Why is it so hard for me to, to pronounce things right now? Under, underneath your deck is the five of pentacles i'm getting no it's not because you were left out in the cold but more so you are now enlightened you're now awakened uh from things that have hurt you in the past okay let's just say someone ghosted you someone left you out in the cold someone you know abandoned you from 2021 or you know, like in the last few weeks but more so i'm getting that you're enlightened you're enlightened. If you think if you see the windows have lights there, you're enlightened a lot more. Why? Because you know now that you deserve better. You deserve better. All right? You have the emperor as your overall energy cancer. This is someone already in your energetic vicinity I'm getting. If not, this is someone new, very recent that you met. All right? This is someone who is very authoritative, someone who knows what they want, very much knows what they want, and they know that they want you. They want you in their life. They see you. I'm getting, I'm seeing an eagle right now. Like when eagles spot, I'm not saying like they're prey, but they know what they want and they just go after it. I'm not saying that you are their prey, but... What I'm saying here is they know what they want. They're very much a leader. Eagles are leaders. Spirit is showing me an eagle, as I said. So this is someone who... I'm getting at first this person... The reason why this person hasn't come forward um, in the last few weeks or last few months but you've already known this person is because they're really trying to hold back their feelings maybe you were in a relationship and they were just observing you or you were trying to to grow and they want you to grow first before they come forward because they want you to be at your best they want to grow with you and they want you to grow and to be your best all right i'm getting that energy i'm not sure who it's it's for someone out there all right but that's the energy that i'm picking up but more so this is someone who's very 
controlling this is someone who knows who they want who, what they want and who they want and they want you all right also this is a perfect partner if you are in your empress energy i'm really getting that empress energy right now this is your divine your counterpart your emperor all right you have the four of wands to the six of cups all right this is my 11 11 card and this is my halfway to marriage card so potentially very very much big potential for this um person to be your the one can um very big potential of offering you a higher form of commitment but i'm getting that there are very there has been well recently i'm getting that you are being nostalgic about your past you're thinking about what happened in the past what happened to you your you and your past person the good memories and the bad memories well venus is in retrograde and mercury is about to go in retrograde so we often think about our our past people our past people our past person during these retrogrades so yeah there are a lot of fond memories but more so when the emperor comes in spirit is telling me this when the emperor comes in comes you know um comes in very fast you will question whether it is a higher form of commit if there is really is higher form of commitment potential all right because why you have been hurt in the past you have been hurt in the past all right you have the ace of wands you have the ace of wands to the knight of pentacles ace of wands to the knight of pentacles this is new passion new passion coming towards you once i'm getting wants to romance you a lot all right wants to romance you but at the same time wants to offer you that stability that you want that you deserve that you have been looking for i'm getting in the last few years this is something that you want not just passion but someone who can offer you someone's something stable and this is the right person to come towards you and the emperor is stable we all know that the emperor is stable spirit is telling me that you don't need to worry about it i'm getting that you're worried you're anxious why because you dealt with someone who was the king of wands the king of wands I'm getting in the reverse in the reverse um, energy so the king of wands is someone in the reverse energy <laughs> again the king of wands in the reverse energy is someone who isn't loyal someone who's um, in it for the game someone who is a player someone who you know very much goal oriented will will set the goal just try to to get that goal and then move out and go to the next goal that's the king of uh wands in the reverse someone who isn't loyal someone who's a player as i said cannot commit all right so you're anxious it th when the emperor comes in it's going to make you a little bit anxious because you feel that things might just repeat all right um in your pre-shuffle i saw a moon the the moon card so it didn't come out but it's more so you fearing things would come back maybe a cycle would repeat for you maybe not just it may not be the same person coming back but you're fearing that the same kind of cycle would repeat that's your fears right now and spirit is just telling me right now that don't be afraid of it don't be afraid this is your divine coming in what is the overall outcome of this reading? Okay. The outcome of your reading is the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and then the Queen of Swords. All right once you completely let go of all the burdens and all the pain that you've gone through you know start from zero baggage then comes in someone who's emotionally satisfying it's a beginning of a new cycle for you and i'm getting a really really good emotionally complete cycle why did i say that emotionally fulfilling cycle for you it's going to be your ten of cups
All right, this person wants a Ten of Cups for you. You have the Queen of Swords here. Cancer. I know we're very, um, we're people who, for some of us, please don't shoot the messenger when I say this. They're just showing me a heart on the sleeve, all right? We wear our hearts on our sleeves. So, more so, around this time, we are getting to use a lot more of head over heart decisions we don't let things phase us during this moment of time we tend to look for facts a little bit more and that is okay the queen of swords here is saying that you will be looking for facts you will be looking for evidence that this person is really sincere when it comes to their offer of love for you their offer of love to you and that is okay that is okay cancer all right so okay what is the advice What is the advice for my cancers? Oh, okay, we'll get these two and this one that popped out first. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. You have the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and then the Queen of Wands. All right. You have the Page of Pentacles. Cancer, Spirit is reminding you that pages bring news and pages bring new. So this is definitely someone new. Alright? You have the Eight of Wands. It's going to come in very fast. Coming, coming in very fast, very hot, very passionate. Please be open to it. And then the Queen of Wands. Remember how beautiful you are, how attractive you are, and that you only deserve the best. Alright? You only deserve the best. <clears throat> Other messages, please. You have illumination. You have illumination. So things will illuminate, things will clear up. You will you will eventually understand you will eventually have something to uh something clears up that's what i'm trying to say something will eventually clear up as i said earlier you had the moon in your pre-shuffle so it is about illumination all right you have new love you saw me shuffle this you have new love coming towards you a new person has stirred up your romantic feelings so if you haven't met this person the last few weeks before 2021 ended for sure it's going to come in around mid to the end of january yes mid to the end of january so yeah i hope something in this reading resonated cancer if it did please do give this video a thumbs up and please leave a comment down below how it resonated for you i love you all thank you so much for supporting me here on youtube and i'll see you in the and i'll see you in the next reading stay blessed